Okay, so the very first thing we'll do, we'll go ahead and install VS Code. So let's go ahead and type in VS Code and click on the very first one. And then over here, go ahead and click on this, download it somewhere. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. And then the next thing we want to do is Flutter SDK, SDK. And then I'm going to come over here, the second line where it says that Flutter Archive, SDK Archive. And then from here, I'm going to download the latest version. And once again, I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that again. So go ahead and download it. And after that, over here, we are going to download Android Studio. Let's go ahead and do that. Android Studio, hit enter and wait for it to be loaded. And then click on the first link that you have. And let's pop up and click download. And then all you have to do, accept the agreement, go down, click yes, I have read it and click download and then wait for it to be downloaded. And after that, you will see you have three of them in downloaded folder. And this time we're gonna first start with VS Code. We'll install it and then we'll move ahead with others. So now let's click on this VS Code dual time or twice, and then it's gonna start installation. Let's accept it, click next, next, and next. With this, we're gonna continue but I think I have forgotten to mention or click on the start as a desktop icon or create a desktop icon. Let's go ahead and select it. Now click next, next, and next. So now it's actually installing and it may take a bit of time depending on your system. and we are done. So now it's gonna pop out with the VS Code UI. So let's wait for it. So here we go, this is our VS Code. Well, in next section, we're gonna install Flutter SDK. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and install our Flutter SDK. So to do that, over here, I'm going to copy this one first, and I'm going to come over here. And inside this, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Flutter. And in this folder, I'm going to, I'm gonna paste what I copied, all right. And then over here, we are going to go ahead and uh, extract it. And as we give it a name, we remove this one first, the last name, the one that's given and make sure that you in install it inside C drive and then not in the programs folder, the folder that we created, Flutter folder, that one. Click extract, now it'll start extracting. Depending on your computer, it may take a lot of time. Now since I'm in a virtual machine, once again, it's a little bit slow, but anyway, so it's compiling and sorry, it's uh, extracting very fast. So let's wait for it. It might take another few seconds. All right, and after that, we need to go to the folder where we have installed Flutter. Let's go ahead and find it. And then over here, first we need to delete the zip file. Let's go ahead and delete it. And after click on the Flutter folder, and inside this, you will see bin folder, click on it and then go at the top and copy the path. It's very important because we're gonna copy and put it in our environment variable. So that's why I come over here at the bottom and search for env. And here you will see it says, added the system environment variables, click on it. And with this, we'll be able to set up the environment variable. Click over here, environment variables, and it'll pop up a new window. And here you will see something's called path. So let's go ahead and double click, or you can click edit, that's also okay. And over here we'll add a new line at the bottom. Double click over here at the bottom, and here you will see that it will give you a space. And here inside this, you can put the path that we have copied. And after that, you can go ahead and click okay. And that's done. 
Next, we are going to open up the search bar again and here type in CMD so that we can get the command prompt. Now this time we're going to verify Flutter installation. So that's why I type in Flutter. And once you do that, you will see that there are a lot of messages, information. That means Flutter has been installed correctly. And after that, we are going to run another tool or command that's called Flutter Doctor. Now with Flutter Doctor, we'll be able to know what's installed in our system for Flutter and what is not installed. And at the same time, we'll also see that what is necessary or what things that we need to do. So soon we'll see that there are a lot of prompts coming up. So here we can see the Flutter channel stable 3.2.21. And next we also see that our toolchain, Android toolchain is not installed. And it also says that unable to locate Android SDK. And at the same time it says that Visual Studio is not there, but Android Studio is also not there. So next we're going to install Android Studio and then fix other issues step by step. Okay, now we'll go ahead and install our Android Studio. Now to install Android Studio, look, let's go back to our Downloads folder and here click on Android Studio, double click on it and it will start the installer. And it's pretty simple, just go ahead and click Next, Next, Next. Make sure that you also check Android Studio device, visual device. And then here, this would be our Android Studio installation path and then click Next. Now it would install uh, in general very quickly and then click finish and this would start our Android Studio automatically. So let's wait for a few seconds. You should be able to see your Android Studio. And at the same time, it may give you some hints or a new notice like whether you want to send the crash info or not. I said no, and then it would continue to work on its own. And at the same time, it would say that missing SDK, so just click next, next. And this is our Android SDK location. So anyway, go ahead and click next, and these files are necessary for emulator. Click next, and make sure that you accept the agreement, and then finish, and once again, this is going to download all the necessary stuffs that uh, we need to run our emulator. And then if the download is done, you'll get this one up to date and then you're good to go. Now with this, actually a lot of the files have been downloaded for Android Studio. Now if you see that Android Studio has been installed, but command line tools and licenses, they are not there. Come over here and go to SDK Manager and then come to this SDK tools and then over here select this Android SDK command line tools. This is very important. This is something that we are going to download. Make sure apply, okay. And then it's going to download our SDK component installer. And then in a few seconds, it would be done depending on your inter internet speed. Anyway, let's finish, apply and okay. And after that, let's go ahead and run our Flutter Doctor. And definitely here we do see that here it says Android Toolchain, it's missing this Android license. So let's go ahead, copy and put it over here. And then all you need to do, enter yes, yes, enter, yes, enter, yes, enter, then you are good to go. And if you run it, Android Studio, okay. if you run Flutter Doctor again, you'll see that everything has been installed correctly. It's missing Visual Studio, which we don't need that. So after that, next, we're going to go ahead and create our first Flutter app. Open up your VS Code and go to New Terminal. And then over here, we're going to run Flutter Doctor. Once again, we're going to make sure that our setup is correct. And once we see the setup is correct, we'll go ahead and install two extensions one is a flutter and another is dart we need those extensions to create flutter project in vs code now you see that everything is fine now click over here on this button and we'll install these two extensions so first come over here and type in flutter make sure that you type it correctly and then go ahead and install this one, the very first one. Here you will see an install button. Click on that and install. I have already done it. And then type in Dart. 
and uh, once again select the first one and over here you will have an install button go ahead and click on that I have already done it so once this two in extensions are done installation we'll go ahead and create a folder named flutter project so come over here and create a new folder called flutter projects and within this folder we'll store or save our flutter projects now this will hold many apps in future anyway so once this is done our job is to go ahead and open it to open it come over here view command palette and type in flutter now once you type in flutter choose the first one and then over here once again choose the first one application and then it would give you a pop-up window and from the pop-up window select flutter projects the one that we created and click this button over here and now give it a name give it a name ticket app and this is our actual project name ticket app now over here it'll go ahead and create this flutter project for us and as you can see that it's running over here and then on the left side we see that project has been created and this is our main.dart and main.dart is the most important for running flutter project but now our project will not run yet because we need to go ahead and create an emulator or virtual device to do that you need to open your android studio from android studio we'll go ahead and create emulator or virtual device to create an emulator or virtual device first make sure that your android studio is open and then open your project which is ticket app let's go ahead and open it from our flutter projects folder ticket app this one drag and drop on android studio drag and drop it on android studio and once you have done it will open and make sure that on the left top side you select project project and you will see your ticket app and within it you will see the lib folder and select main.dart and from here we'll create a virtual device to create a virtual device click on device manager and here at the top you will see that create virtual device the plus icon and select over here any of them you want in my case i'm going to select pixel 8 pro and this would be our virtual device click next and over here if you see any message like that you can ignore this and then click this download button you make sure you you are downloading it and now the downloading may take a bit of time and you have to wait once the downloading is done we'd be able to start our emulator so wait until the downloading is done now it's done and once again over here make sure you select the downloaded one this one and click next and you may change the name if you want but anyway so let's go ahead and finish and here you will see your virtual device or emulator I have created a few in your case you'll see only one whatever you have created go ahead and click on this button and then it'll start your emulator and once the emulator is started you may go ahead your VS code and over here run start without debugging it will start and make sure at the bottom you select over here that button and based on that you'll see that your emulator is starting and your flutter project is starting and after that over here you see that our emulator is here and click on the button and it's going to continue to increase the number as you see so that's how you run your first app